Hi, I'm Lawrence Sprung, President of Midland Financial, and welcome to this edition of Midland Minute. If you've been following the Midland Minutes over the last several weeks, you will have noticed that this is the third part of a three-part series. Part one was on passive investing. Part two was on active investing. I highly suggest that you view those two episodes prior to viewing this one, where we're going to discuss active versus passive investing. Essentially, if you follow many investment gurus out there, many of them will fall into one of two camps. Some will fall into passive investing is the only way to go camp, and others will fall into the active investing is the only way to go camp. Here at Midland Financial, we don't believe that going 100% one way or another really works for you as an investor. The reality is that it lies somewhere in the middle for you. And what I mean by that is, with regard to passive investing, there are certain markets or uh, indices within the market framework, such as large cap growth and large cap value, where inefficiencies do not exist. The amount of information that's distributed, earnings reports, analysts, is very widely spread and it's hard to take advantage of active management in those spaces, and passive may be the right way to go. With regard to active management, there are certain areas of the marketplace where there are inefficiencies, such as emerging markets, international, where if you put boots on the grounds in certain locations and are able to uncover certain information about companies, it may give you the upper hand in investing in companies that have the potential to outperform their passive partners. So what I suggest you do, because we want to do what's right for you, is you contact us at 631-952-4466, extension 12, schedule a meeting, and we can review how your portfolio is currently positioned with regard to passive versus active, and then talk to you about what may be best for you going forward.